Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shramana Das and I make videos about higher education in abroad, lifestyle in Germany and much more. So if you are new to my channel, please do consider subscribing and if you are already a member of this family, then thank you for watching. In today's video, I'm going to clear some of the uh, most asked doubts or frequently asked questions regarding testers and APS certificate and I hope after this video you will be all cleared. So without any further ado, let's start this video. So first of all, here I'm already giving you a sneak peek of the testers and the APS website. You can go and check. Everything is listed down there. Now I'm going to pick a lot of comments that came regularly in my rest of the APS and the testers videos. I will put them over here and you can also check them and I will, I'm going to answer all those comments uh, in this video and the most frequently asked question about testers and APS. So yeah, so the first question, who need to pass the APS verification? So. From 1st November 2022, those who have their visa appointment, so it can be of winter semester 2022, summer semester 2023, winter semester 2023, anybody, the visa appointment is after or from November 1st, 2022, you need to come for APS. It will be for bachelor, student, colleague or for masters you need to need to show your APS. What type of language certificate is required for APS? So guys, APS does not have a particular need of uh, any language certificate but it is definitely good to submit your IELTS if you have an English requirement for your university or if you have German requirement then go for also show them the language uh, certificate or the German Gothe certificate as well that would be really great but your visa officer can definitely ask you for your IELTS or for your Gothe they have the right to do that but for APS certificate you particularly don't need any language Next question that I got a lot like a literally lot for whom the testers exam is mandatory first of all testers is exempted for the summer 2023 but for the winter 2023 if you are coming to germany for bachelors and if you have not cleared your jee mains and advanced rest everybody have to clear the testers exam for the winter 2023 if you are coming for bachelor and there is no pass or fail in testers it's a relative grading so it depends how many students have given this exam what is the highest mark that has been achieved so this is basically a common grading in germany so in that way only you will get your grade and one more thing APS certificate will also be exempted for those who has a scholarship or their study is from an international board because APS is mainly for the uh, Indian educational certificates. So if you have studied from an international school, done your 12th from an international school, you don't need an APS certificate. People also asked me this question that I already have an admission letter for a German university. So still do I need an APS? Yes, you need it. If your visa appointment is from or after November 2022, you need your APS certificate. Now there is one more question, is APS uh, certificate is required for the language courses in visa? And APS certificate is not required for any short term courses, that is less than 90 days. But for any courses that is longer than 90 days, you need your APS. So basically, if you are applying for Ausbildung, you also need your APS. common question is how many times you can apply for an APS certificate. You just need to apply it once and once you uh, become a successful candidate or like your documents are verified, your APS certificate is valid for indefinite period of time. So you don't need to apply more. And the fees is 18,000. So yeah, so these are some of the frequently asked questions and some of the questions from my comments from my last videos has been answered. I hope now all your doubts are cleared. If still there are some doubts, please comment down and let me know if you like this video and if it's beneficial for you. So that's all guys. Hope you like it. And if you like it, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe and stay happy. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.